When I was a little girl, my parents did not allow us to spend any time over at Bonnie's house. Her mom was an alcoholic, a drug addict. She was abusive. She cussed at her, hit her. It wasn't safe there for us. Bonnie had a really tough childhood. She was bullied a lot at school. She was unkept, not taken care of. Bonnie didn't have any supervision. She would be on the streets all hours of the day and night. Bonnie moved 75 times with her family as an adolescent. As little girls, we spent a lot of time together. Bonnie would come over and spend the weekend. I remember she threatened to throw herself out of the upstairs bedroom window if we made her go back to her mom's house. We found out later that Bonnie's mom would have sex with men while Bonnie was in the room. When Bonnie was eight or nine, her mom took her to the gynecologist because she was accusing her of having sex. No one in my family knew what Bonnie was going through. When Bonnie was 15, she met this man that was 38, and he asked to marry her, and her mom actually agreed to it and signed the papers. They just got rid of her like a piece of garbage. I thought it was weird and creepy. My daughter wasn't even allowed to date yet. I was horrified. I found out about 10 years later that she was prostituting and dancing at strip clubs. I completely believe that her childhood contributed to where she is right now. I need to not be judged anymore. I do not like it at all. God forgives me, Aunt Sadine. If you can't forgive me, then you don't get to be in my life. Since Bonnie has been living with us, I have noticed that she is very erratic. Bonnie will have meltdowns, and she'll lash out and attack one of us for something very minor. Just last night, I came into the kitchen to Bonnie verbally attacking mom. Aunt Cindy, and I don't like having to yell at you, but you know what? You won't listen. You won't listen to me at all because I think that you're being a fake Christian, and I don't like that. Bonnie's been clean for six years from a severe opiate addiction that lasted longer than a decade. Now she does the mushrooms and marijuana. Bonnie thinks that mushrooms make her think straight, but it prompts her manic episodes. You know what, I've been going through a lot lately, but I mean, if you wanna you know, come, come down on me like that, you wanna be narcissistic to me, I'm sorry. We went to get our nails done together and she lashed out at the nail technician, completely unprovoked. This outburst lasted one minute and she went back to looking at her phone and a few minutes later, she gives the nail technician a $100 bill. We went to the store her items wouldn't scan as fast as she was trying to scan them, and so she just went crazy, saying it was hot. She had to get out of there. I would have been better off just disappearing, and then nobody would have to be able to say to me. I know that you are talking to people that you meet online that you don't know, and I'm so scared that you're gonna get taken advantage of. I'm a smart enough girl. I've been out on the streets my whole freaking life. I'm a tough kid. <laughs> I'm worried because when she leaves our house, she'll hook up with someone that she's met online and would get raped or murdered. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.